guys welcome back to my channel my name is Beninit and for today's video we are going to be talking about the Olay Regenerous Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. This one has been highly requested from you guys y'all have been in my DMs talking about it talking about how other people have reviewed it and liked it that I do deeper complexion so I was like let me go try it out. To be honest I wasn't that excited <laughs> to pick this one up though because I feel like Olay it's not a brand that like excites me. I don't know. I feel like everybody's mom and their grandma has some kind of Olay cream or product in their closet and they've had for years. So it's nothing like new, but I do believe their mineral sunscreen is a newer-ish release from them. But for today's video, we're gonna be talking about it, giving it a full review. I'm gonna show you my full wear test uh, with moisturizer, without moisturizer, with makeup, without makeup to see, to show you what it really looks like. So let's talk about what's actually in this sunscreen. So the active ingredient is 17.5% zinc oxide. So it is a mineral slash physical formula and you're gonna get an SPF of 30 in this one. So this one actually retails for $28.99 at Target and I feel like that's kind of a lot for a drugstore brand to be. I don't remember Olay ever being this expensive when I was growing up but it's definitely on the pricier end now. But I have been keeping an eye on it and I noticed that they've been having a lot of sales on it at Target so maybe you can find it for a little bit cheaper. This one is not a water resistant formula. Right here on the back it says use water resistant resistant sunscreens if swimming or sweating. So as far as how I applied this, I follow the two finger method. So I do two full fingers of the sunscreen and that is gonna cover my face, my neck, and my ear. And I do pretty much reapply every two hours religiously. And that is mostly because I'm spending most of the summer outdoors while I'm nannying. We're at the pool, we're at the beach, we're at the park. We're just outside all the time, so I like to reapply my sunscreen every two hours. So on the first day that I wore the sunscreen, I applied my regular skincare underneath my normal amount of moisturizer, and then I ended it with this sunscreen. Again, I followed the two finger method, put it all over my face. Uh, as you can see, when you first put it on, I felt like it was kind of getting stuck in my hairs and in my sideburns, but like on my actual face, it didn't look that bad. I think there was a slight cast using the lining in my bathroom, um, but when I waited the 15 minutes, it was basically like, it was gone. There was no white cast whatsoever. When I went outside and like stood by my window and took a picture, uh, you could see a slight white cast even after like a good 15, 30 minutes of wearing it. As far as the finish, I felt like it was almost too moisturizing it wasn't quite greasy like it did dry down but when you touch your face it kind of had like slight very slight residue to it and i was thinking that this was probably because i put on moisturizer and then put the sunscreen on top of it, it as you can see it is a little bit shiny it's very glowy um and then i wore it for two hours and i felt like after the two hours you could definitely see my oils popping through even more so with this sunscreen and I do look, I look kind of shiny, not gonna lie. So after the two hours, I went ahead and reapplied it. And the reapplication on day one with my normal moisturizer under was, it was okay because I did blot, but it felt, it felt heavy. It didn't feel too heavy with the first application, but it did feel slightly heavy with the second application. Day two, I decided to skip the moisturizer altogether because I noticed that this is a very hydrating sunscreen. I mean, it says right on it that it's a hydrating moisturizer, so I should have known from the start to not do my moisturizer at all. So day two, basically all I did was, you know, wash my face, put on my acne treatment, and then I skipped my moisturizer and went straight to the sunscreen and used that as my moisturizing sunscreen. And I feel like it wore way better on this day than it did on the first. Um, it felt very light, it looked glowy, kind of slightly shiny but not oily and it definitely sunk into the skin faster than it did on day one with my moisturizer and I have to say the white cast is like non-existent so this is what I look like after wearing the sunscreen for two hours and then I went ahead and blotted and reapplied and this reapplication was again a lot better than day one I just think this is the type of sunscreen where you should just skip the moisturizer especially if you have oily skin um, if you have like drier skin you could you could probably get away with using moisturizer underneath but for me it really 
changed the whole feel of the sunscreen. And then lastly, day three, I wore it with makeup and I had, and I'm wearing it with makeup today. This is actually day like six or something <laughs> with me wearing it, but I'm wearing it with makeup today. And as you can see, I feel like it looks, okay, there's like a reflection coming from my shirt. Why does it do that? Here, look. See? <laughs> Um, there's no white cast on this as you can see it looks pretty glowy But not like greasy or shiny and I feel like it sits pretty well underneath makeup um, My normal problem areas which is like the corners of my nose and underneath my eyes Do feel like the makeup is slightly breaking up just a little bit But I feel like I just always get that because I have oily skin so and it doesn't feel too heavy It feels pretty light. Yeah, so this is how it wore with makeup my overall thoughts on this sunscreen is I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a mineral sunscreen with minimal to no white cast. Um, my only thing with this is that Olay does do animal testing and I know for something, some people that's like a make or break so just bear that in mind. Also the price is $28.99 and you only get 1.7 fluid ounces. To me that feels like a lot, kind of a lot, kind of a lot. It's not like extreme it's not like fifty dollars or something but it is on the pricier end it's pretty convenient you can find it at ulta um pretty much any target you can find it at walmart you can get it on amazon wherever so this is pretty easily accessible for people okay so my last kind of negative i think they could work on their marketing just a little bit i mean it's nothing about the actual product it's just something that annoys me when companies market their sunscreens this way but if you go onto their product site on Target there is a video clip of a black woman putting on sunscreen and homegirl literally puts like this much sunscreen on look at that this much sunscreen on and that's just something that really bothers me because one you should never ever be putting sunscreen on that way if you look at the video she doesn't even like get everywhere I don't know like why do they do this just put on the full amount and let us all see that there's no white cast instead of not putting the full amount and there's no white cast I don't know it's just something that bugs me so overall for the summer months I don't know if I will be reaching for this one per se one because it's not water resistant and two even though it's pretty lightweight it still does go on kind of shiny for me and I have really oily skin so I want my base to start out semi matte or like normal instead of starting out with like a glowier sunscreen. In the winter, I feel like I'll be reaching for this one more often. Um, but if you're a person that does not have oily skin like me, I would definitely recommend it. It'll probably look great on your skin. I didn't have any like new breakouts or anything from this. Um, and it washes off pretty good at the end of the night. It's not like anything that's too tough to get rid of. Um, and then lastly, I didn't have any sensitivities to it or irritations. Um, there was no like burning feeling or anything. So like I said, if you are on the hunt for a mineral sunscreen, this is, this is a pretty good one. That is it for today's video. It was kind of a quick one, but I hope that it was helpful and it was informative. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any other sunscreen recommendations, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. Also, if you've tried the sunscreen and you love it, let me know. If you tried it and you hated it, also let me know. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.